We talked about our first concerts, and it my first concert has you nothing to do with the music. You laughed at me when I said music. Nickelback, didn't you? I did laugh at you. What, all right, so let's just ask I have this. you both beat. All right, so sure. Mia, Andre, what was your first concert? My first concert was Van Halen, and I was like seven. Oh Why am I even here? Right, so she was <laughs> seven. Let's, but let's tell the, tell the good people about this concert, because obviously okay. it was because I'm Listen, such a cool parent. Was it? And wanted you to go to a concert on a school night at age seven. Um, I'm seven years old, right? Seven. It's like a Thursday night, so we have school, school the next night. day. Van Halen is in town, and Dad like got tickets like really close to the showtime. And Mom's right, like, "Wait, Dad got tickets without Dad? All right, we were we were not still married at the time. This this may lead into what we he got tickets without asking. He but bought the tickets Van Halen. before he asked. Listen." Because he was like, there's no way she can say no to Van Halen. And you literally did. You were like, that's a school night. They're not going to a concert that late at night to hear I was that, that music. I was that mom. That before school. And I'm I was like, a reformed good mom. I'm doing much better. I'm doing much better. Yep. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, Van Halen though. And we were in like the nosebleeds and they saw my dad with like, two little kids it was like oh you guys should come down there's like seats on the floor so we got moved from the nosebleeds to the floor that's what happens when you have kids that's what happens when you so for any of you guys who cannot afford really good seats find a kid find Find a little kid and i mean little little, like these seven years old yep take them to a concert really late on a school night and you'll probably get upgraded yeah that was a big if i'm not mistaken i think you fell asleep uh towards the end of it yeah it was i mean it was late (laughs) <laughs> and I was seven, but was I remember night. I remember a good amount. All right, so let's say, how is music shaped? Because that Van Halen shaped you, so what do you remember? Because I remember about my first concert, I was in high school, because my mother did not let me go, as, right. as you might imagine. Yes, I can imagine that. Um, so, but I did get to go backstage. I have no idea how I got to go backstage at my very first concert. Oh, man. My I wasn't speaks. impressed with Lisa Lisa, but I will tell you, Richard Marks, in the day, was smoking. And he signed my arm. That's all I presented to wow. have him sign. I will not. I will not admit or deny what else has been signed at future concerts. However, he signed my arm in Sharpie. Got in trouble because I had Sharpie on my arm. Oh right. When I got home, but that's what I remember, and I remember it being this really cool experience. So, like, you were only seven. Do you remember? Oh, I remember so much about it before I fell asleep. I rem- the biggest thing I remember is. Uh, um, the Eddie playing his guitar, like the solos and stuff, because that was just like screaming in my ear. And at the time, I didn't really appreciate it that much. I just thought it was kind of annoying. But looking back, it was the best part. And then, of course, David Lee Roth screaming the entire time, doing his classic karate kicks off of drum risers and things. I can do karate kicks off of drum risers. You're going to pull a hammy, should, Mom. Yeah, I might pull <laughs> a hammy. But I think that's kind of cool. We do have, we'll have to post them. You know, when I met when I met me as dad, I do believe he was wearing spandex and probably doing kicks off of a riser I somewhere. mean, that was just the time. That was People my were favorite. Doing that. But that was 80s music. Now, you yeah. do like the 80s. It's not your favorite I decade. I mean, I wouldn't go out and choose 80s like if I had to go back to one time, it would not be the 80s. And I, I'm like, I like the music to a certain extent, but it's the bands who carried from the 70s to the 80s. Those bands. I'm not a big fan of overall, but I, I, I dabble. You, you're, you're a fan. I mean, you, so you're saying you do not like your father's music is what I'm hearing. No, I like so. my father's music. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know if he's tuning in yet because he's on a I plane. Like, I like my father's music. But it's not that whole era. It's not, it's not what I would choose. All right, so let's ask this, because Whitney and I started talking about this. What do you think about today's music? Because I'm, I'm going to tick a few people off. I don't know what the hell is going on with music these days. Like, I don't, I watched, I didn't watch the Grammys. Like I said, my friend messaged about, we did have the WAP song, which did a live performance. I think it's pronounced WAP. WAP. The WAP, the WAP song, which I learned this past week. My 11-year-old knows all the lyrics because she came in the living room singing it the other day. And I about passed out, and this one just dies laughing. Dies laughing. It's hilarious. It was not hilarious to have your 11-year-old singing WAP in the middle of your living room. She thought it was funny. But let's talk about this. I mean, I'm not not dissing Cardi B because here's the thing. I, 
it's not the style of music I listen to, but a ton of people like her. And I love the fact that she is unapologetically herself because yeah. that for me, as you know, is my thing. So I love the fact she did. I was a little surprised. I'm still a little pissed off we're banning Dr. Seuss and we could do a live version of WAP on the Grammys on primetime. But we're not getting into that today because I promised Mia and I promised Matt we're saving the cancel culture episode for Matt and I because we just think. Oh, sorry. Because we're You'll just going to go. Join in later. We're going to go off on that one. But it's. Um, 